Whoa, we don't need that intro. Hey guys, it's Future Inventions here with the unboxing, first look, and setup of the 2011 iMac. So this is it right here. I'm filming from it because uh, the the opening shot that I originally had was not that great. So uh, welcome to the unboxing of the 2011 27-inch iMac. Yeah. So before we start, two quick things and we'll get right into it. One is that I paid with my own money, so I'm not spoiled and stuff. I get paid from YouTube. And also, I'm buying it with 12 month financing, so I'll be able to pay it off every month with my YouTube earnings. So that's how I'm paying for it. And the second thing is that this right here came with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and I upgraded it myself to 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is cheaper than Apple's 8 gigabytes of RAM if you buy the RAM from a third party. So I would really recommend that, and I will have a video soon with a tutorial on how to upgrade your RAM. So enjoy the video guys. See ya. Here we go. Ugh, heavy computer. Alright guys, here we go. Here it is. Uh, just so you know, these markers are to show me if I'm in frame or not. So here's the front. Bring it up here for you to see. There's a top if you can see that. And the back is almost the same as the front. And we have Thunderbolt, uh, Intel Core i5, and 16 by 9 widescreen. Yeah, this is an i7. Don't know why it says i5. Here we go. And let's let's start it off. All right, I'm cutting the seal. Let's open it up. Oh, and there it is. All right, guys, here we go, my first Mac. Let's check this out. We have designed by Apple in California. Toss that over to the side. We have the Apple wireless keyboard. There we go, very, very nice. I will unwrap it for you. It's very nice and thin, and it feels really nice. The wireless keyboard has a beautiful aluminum design with white keys. It has a very slim form factor, and it also has a smooth, glossy back. It's overall an outstanding keyboard. Next, we have the Apple Magic Mouse. This is really awesome. We have fingertips. The Apple Magic Mouse has a stunning and sleek design with the combination of glass and aluminum. The whole top of the mouse is actually a touchpad, so you can touch it for scrolling and gestures. It's not the most ergonomic mouse out there, but it still is pretty awesome. We have everything Mac. We have a little booklet and everything else. Got some CDs and all that. And we also have Microsoft Office for the Mac. And we have the Apple Wireless Remote. Here is the Apple wireless remote with its really sleek design. Unfortunately, front row has been removed from line, but this is still pretty functional and useful. All right, guys, here it is. I am so excited. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so cool. Pulling the screen off, the film, same thing. Wow, it is beautiful. Awesome. It is gigantic. Here it is, guys. And now we're, we are going to set it up. I have the cable right here. Okay, guys, so I've turned off the lights so you can see it turning on. This is going to be so awesome. I have it plugged in and everything. Here we go. That is amazing. It'll take a few minutes to boot up. Not a few minutes, a few seconds to boot up the first time. Here we go. Let me turn on my magic mouse here. Flip that up, as it says there, and press the power button on here. And now we're ready. Okay, and here, here it is.
is just so awesome. All right. In the U.S., continue. United States, you already own a Mac. I don't want to transfer my information. So continue. Wow, that is one amazing screen. Select the wireless network you want to go to. There we go. It's connecting. Okay. Uh, I'll make an Apple ID later, actually. Put in all my information. All right. This is a home computer. All right, cool. Continue. Now it's taking a picture of me. I'll try not to look too crazy in this. Okay, continue. And there we go. Woo! It's set up. Also, just one more thing. If you have ordered an iMac with the educational pricing, you get this in the mail. Congratulations on your new Mac. Now load it up, and inside you get a $100 back-to-school gift card for all the Mac apps that you will need, and it's really cool. Now let's take a look at the design of the iMac. At the front, we have the FaceTime HD camera, as well as the Apple logo, and a sleek design that mixes glass and aluminum. Here we have the 2560 by 1440 display, and here is the elegant and out-of-the-way stand. Here is the microphone at the top of the computer, on the left side of the iMac, we have the SuperDrive and the SD card reader. And on the bottom left are the ports. Here is the headphone jack, the line-in jack, four USB ports, the FireWire 800 port, two Thunderbolt ports, and the Ethernet port. On the bottom right is the power button. And at the top, this black stripe is the vent. Here is the Kensington lock and power cord, as well as a little grill at the back. Here is the demo of the iMac display. It is a 27 inch LED backlit glossy widescreen TFT display with support for millions of colors. It is at a resolution of 2560 by 1440. That's four times 720p. What all those technical specs mean is that this display is very clear and has very precise color reproduction. Just one last thing, I'd like to tell you that these pictures are copyrighted. Let's take a look at how the speakers sound. Well, we can't really take a look at how they sound because... Anyways, I have some test tracks here. These are all royalty free, YouTube. Ahem. I think these speakers sound great. They have a little too much treble, and sometimes I feel that the mids are a little bit low, but the bass is great. The bass doesn't go very low at all but it still sounds okay for the occasional listen. Uh, if you're an audiophile, then you might not like it. If you're just a regular user, you'll probably love it. Not sure if you could hear that, but the bass was very nice. So here's another. You've seen that the speakers sound awesome. Hey guys, so I'm not sure if the quality looks that great on this right now because this video editing software that I use does seem to make the picture a little bit weird. So I'm going to be uploading another video of the test. So it's going to be a test. So click right here. Click the whole screen. The whole screen you can click anywhere. Anywhere here. And it will bring you to a video and it'll be a test of the camera in a separate video. Go there right now. Okay guys, so I'm here with the specs right now, and let's take a look at what makes this iMac run. First off, we have the 27 inch one, an LED backlit glossy widescreen TFT display. I believe that this is the same type of display that someone who is into photography would use, because it does have really true to life colors. We have the 3.4 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7, I believe it's with 6 megabytes on chip shared L3 cache. We have 12 gigabytes of RAM because I installed extra RAM. We have a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. We have an AMD Radeon HD 6970M graphics processor with 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Here are the specs of the size, here are the electrical thingies, warranty, environmental. So that's it. 
Hey guys, now I'm going to be testing the Mac. I just unboxed it and we're gonna run a few tests on the graphics and I'm gonna show you some specs. So it's gonna be really cool. And I'm starting off with a Geekbench test. So it got 12,699, which is pretty good. Uh, here are some stats for anyone that wants them. There we go. And uh, let's take a look at how this ranks. Okay, so now this window is coming up. So you can see here, I know the window is still in this little place, but uh, our iMac got around 12,000, so I think it's kind of near this one. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. So you can see the top Mac is a Mac Pro. It got 21,000. That's pretty cool, too. So that's it for the benchmark test. All right, guys. Now let's see how fast it boots up. So. I'm going to press the button in the back and the start button here on the iPod at the same time. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm getting ready on the stop. Okay. 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 As soon as, as soon as it. Okay. There's the pinwheel. Okay, ex exactly 35 seconds. That's pretty cool. Very, very fast startup. Okay, guys, now let's check how long it takes to shut down. I know this isn't as big a deal as starting up, but here I have my counter. And let's try it. So I'm going to go to shut down. I'm going to click out, reopen windows when logging back in. That feature of Lion I'm not going to do. So I'm going to press start and this at the same time. Three, two, one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's it's down before I could even start counting. So I went back and looked at the footage and it's really cool. It's got 3.8 seconds, which is pretty good. You can see the screen shuts off uh, portions at a time, so that's really cool right now. And this is cool footage, 3.8 seconds, pretty fast. Right here I have iMovie. You can see video playback is very smooth. Let me start playing. That's part of my intro. That's 720p video. Now let's go to here, this is 1080p video. And you can see as I scroll through it, it plays the sound from that millisecond. And the frame rate is very, very nice. So here we go. Operating the RAM. I have a RAM kit from Crucial Dolphin and we have a ham. I have a RAM. I have a kit from Crucial Dolphin I have a kit from Crucial And I can go through everything very, very quickly. Let me show you here a whole entire clip. And it, it looks amazing. It, this is really, really nice. So you can see uh, iMovie works very, very well with these specs. Uh, Let's go to export it. And this is 1080p video. Uh, so yeah, you can see it's going down right here. And it is about three minutes. That's actually pretty good. It's, it's going to take a few minutes, but uh, it usually takes less than the time there. Seven minutes is very good. My old computer, it took probably about half an hour to do the same thing. So that's really nice. One more thing before we go is that I actually recorded a video test of the graphics on this. I used a video game, Lego Harry Potter. So just click here, anywhere. Just click. And that will bring you to the video. And I hope that you'll enjoy it. But this is the end of this video right now. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching all the iMac stuff and and my new editing skills with the new iMac and all that stuff. And please like, comment, and rate. And, and please comment and tell me what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for new great videos. And I'll see you later.